We will stay in SEC country and talk just a little bit about the Florida Gators. Uh, they will open their season on Saturday to last year's Pac-12 champs, Utah. Cam Rising returns to lead the Utes under center, while Anthony Richardson, who has a fair amount of NFL draft buzz, is QB1 for the Gators and their new head coach, Billy Napier. Napier can get into the good graces of Gator Nation by extending Florida's streak of 32 consecutive on-field wins and season openers, the longest streak in SEC history. He will have to do so, though, against a Utah team that has their preseason ranking, their best preseason ranking in program history. Joey, it seems like an opportunity here, not just for Utah, but the Pac-12, who, as you mentioned earlier, we have not talked as much about in the preseason. Yeah, I love what the Pac-12 is doing here with Oregon playing Georgia, and then this is another chance for the Pac-12 to make a statement. If Utah can go on the road and knock off a Florida team, number one, it gets their season off to a great start, but it makes people believe. We think that Utah is a pretty good football team, but can they do it year in, year out? Can they be consistent? Uh, everyone believes that they'll win the Pac-12. Well, what a chance to make a statement early on to go on the road and knock off a Florida football team. I think it sends a message, not just to the country, that, that Utah is, is, can, has a chance to be a great team, but it sends a message to the Pac-12 that Utah is back. They're a deep football team that has recruited well. Can they get the consistency that we've been looking for from a team in the Pac-12? And in a lot of these conversations we have, can they get on the national scene? Can they be there at the end? Do they get into the playoff? Well, games against Georgia for Oregon, games against Florida for Utah go a long way in those conversations when we get to the end. Well, when you look at Utah, I mean, they really found themselves down the stretch, and they probably were at their best against Ohio State on a big, bat, big platform there being the Rose Bowl. Cam Rising was phenomenal. Who knows if he stays healthy in that game? Is it a different outcome? Some people suggest it would have been. I don't know for sure. I don't like to play the hypothetical game, but Cam Rising's a star. He also, I think, has some really good weapons at running back that are going to establish a physical presence, and they have some really good pieces at wide receiver. They lose Britton Covey, and that'll be difficult to replace, but they have four or five guys that could step up and make a play on third down at any one given time. And then defensively on the front seven, they're going to make life very difficult for Anthony Richardson, the quarterback for Florida. They're going to come after him from a lot of different places, and they're going to be really physical going sideline to sideline. So I think it's going to be a really tough matchup for the Gators because this Utah has been in big environments and will not be phased at all whatsoever when they head to the swamp. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.